first thing is mental health is so important and I don't think we talk about it enough and I don't think we do enough to bring awareness. It wasn't bullying. It wasn't a lack of love that Garrison had. It was mental health. Garrison Brown's sister, Madison Brush, opening up about his mental health struggles just weeks after his death. I have worried about my boy's mental health and Garrison just seems angrier, sadder. Like he's, he's not his, as happy-go-lucky as he used to be. Janelle and Cody's daughter shedding some light on her brother's death on Instagram. I am stepping back into normalcy today as much as you can. Um, I wanted to get on and just talk about some stuff that I've observed. Obviously, the first week was horrible. We were two weeks post Garrison's death. I just wanted to say thank you for the outpouring of love that we've had. Um, I have received probably thousands of messages from you guys just saying condolences, um, talking about your experiences with suicide and just love. Madison also sharing what she's taking away from the family's loss. It wasn't bullying. It wasn't a lack of love that Garrison had. It was mental health. And I am going to continue talking about mental health and self-care until I am blue in the face because I don't think it's talked about enough in a way that people understand it. Garrison was found dead in his Arizona home earlier this month. Police telling ET at the time, the 25-year-old died from an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. Oh, wow, oh, wow. Yeah. Straight from the inside. Oh. When my mom had come out, she just kind of went into tears. My children really are my, my thing, right? I'm really wrapped up with them. I'm focused on them. In the weeks since, the Brown family has been paying tribute to Garrison, including Janelle's close friend and former sister wife, Christine. Christine writes, I've been scanning all my 35 millimeter camera film and found some gold mines. He truly blessed our lives. We are still a family and we are still raising our kids together. Mm. You know, we're still sister wives and our kids are the best part of our lives still, hands down. And we still have that. So we still have a core part of our family. As far as how the family is coping with the loss, Madison says Garrison's death has brought everyone closer together. I've had a phenomenal community show up and also my siblings. We all disagree. We're all very strongly opinionated people and we have disagreements on other things. But the way that we can show up for each other and love each other even in this, in this time, even with our differences and the way that I've had friends and other family show up. And the Browns plan to keep Garrison's legacy alive by talking about mental health issues. And that was something that Garrison and I talked a lot about. And I know my other siblings and my mom have expressed this, that Garrison used to feel like he wasn't doing enough because he was comparing himself to things on social media. And I don't think that it's real. And I think we need to remember that. 